Women by funny, water run away my eyes. Aye, aye, water run away my eyes. When I remember Solomon, water run away my eyes. Aye, aye, water run away my eyes. When I remember CC, water run away my eye. Aye, aye, water run away my eye. What is the difference between someone that works in SAS and someone that is doing arm robbery? Ah, uh, if I see thief, I know what thief wants. SAS wants to kill me. Why the vlog are like that? Why the vlog are like that? Why the vlog are like that? What do you do, man? Because of Apple Watch, or because you feel to unlock your phone, one shot, you're gone and you're dead. Why? We have that see if these people die and we'll come back next month. They're not coming back. As they don't die, they don't die, go finish. Enough is enough. Our voices must be heard. You people must yell because we're here on our when campaign reach. So please hear us this time. Thank you. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Cody. If this is your first time, you are welcome. So in today's video, we are dedicating it to our fallen heroes who lost their lives to the NSAS protest. I know a lot of my viewers are not, they are wondering what do I mean by NSAS protest. NSAS was actually a slogan we used in Nigeria to end the special anti-robbery squad. It is a unit in the Nigerian police force which have been known for their long-term abuses and brutality. So today, making it one year anniversary for the people who lost their lives. In October 2020, there was a protest in Nigeria which lasted for one week or more than one week. There was this particular week, what the hashtag we used was NSAS and police brutality occupy Lake Toll Gate. This particular protest was one of the highest ever, one of the among the history of Nigeria that lasted. The youths came out in huge numbers. Parents, elders, young ones, everyone was together with the people because the special anti-robbery squad they were not they were there for the robbery squad but they turned it around to a different thing and were brutalizing and killing people extorting money from people doing so many things on call for so the youths were tired and they occupied the streets of lagos of nigeria in each 36 state of the nigeria and the capital there was no movement people were moving but you are scared knowing that your brothers and sisters are out there fighting for a cause. So at this particular one, this particular toll gate, if you use the hashtag Lakey Toll or find the Loki Toll Gate, for complete one week, there was no movement at there. People were sleeping there. Some people were going and coming for complete one week. People were, it was one of the one of the most organized protests ever in the history of Nigeria with the youth. A lot of artists were involved, a lot of social activists, a lot of musicians. So many people came out in their numbers. 
even the common man, because the common man is also being harassed by these people of this special anti squad. So at the end of it, on 2020, on 1020, 2020, there was actually some killing that people lost their lives. So we are dedicating this particular video because knowing that these people did not just die for a cause, they died for everyone, they lost their lives and they passed a message. And we are actually saying Shorosoki that it should not happen again. We don't want it again. We are tired of the brutality. We are tired of the mess. We are tired of everything that is happening. We have been told by Nigerian force and also Nigerian government that this particular arm has been disbanded. We are hoping and believing that it is banned and disbanded forever. But there are still answers to the question who actually ordered for these people to be taken? Who actually ordered for these people to be killed? And who gave the order? Who gave the... There were so many answers which we are still seeking and looking for, but we are yet to receive those answers. happy and inspired to see how many people came out and just make people like so that's happy. Immediate release of all arrested protesters. Number two, this, I think this is the most important point. Justice for all deceased victims of police brutality and appropriate compensation for their families. Number three, setting up an independent body to oversee the investigation and prosecution of all reports of police misconduct within, they say within 10 days. I don't agree, agree with that. You cannot, it's impossible to do anything within 10 days. In line with the new police act, which they just signed, even before this, the year of one police barrack, a beggar cannot stay there. We're a great take you back to the memory lane this occupied the Lokito gate to end SARS and end police brutality was an was actually a peaceful protest for complete one week a peaceful protest the the youths were not rallying around they just sat down there they eat their breakfast their lunch their dinner they sat out there and said no movement that people are not going to go out of the mainland or out, out of the island they want to the government to actually hear them and solve the issue so why it was so it was so peaceful that a lot of people got involved into it that it took about 100 millions of nigeria to come out and say end to this sars end to the police brutality that they don't want this particular thing to happen anymore so in memory of them there is going to be candle light there is going to be peaceful protest with the car there is going to be so many things that so we are dedicating this and still saying answers and end police brutality in nigeria and all over the world so my brothers and sisters we are with you you are not alone